guys are incredible. I mean, they are the filmmakers gallery. Yes, they are. Uh, Paul Velcito and Stephen Roach. Uh, and they are here. One of their things on this planet um, and on their website, it says, we are here to inspire and educate audiences through the mediums of film and television. So without further adieu, <laughs> we are uh, welcoming the filmmakers gallery, Stephen Roach and hey. Paul Velcito. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi everybody. Well, shepherd. thanks for having us. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. We're all excited about it because you are having your your the 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 yeah. annual um uh, international Down Syndrome. It's a Festival. mouthful. It's a mouthful. Palm Springs Palm International Spring. Down Syndrome Film Festival. Yeah. No, one more. I'll top you on that one. It's the second annual Palm second Springs annual. International Down Syndrome Film Festival. I love it. Now you couldn't do it the last two years because of COVID. Correct. But but it's back again, and it's what are the dates again? October seventh, uh, eighth, and ninth. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Actually, opens a week from this Friday. Now, yeah. <laughs> who, can, who can join? Who could come? Anybody can come. Um, we just had a meeting, another meeting with the theater manager. So the Mary Pickford Theaters ticket link uh, may be up even before Friday. So that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So people can buy. Now, the, the, I know we're getting into tickets and all that, but you can go for the whole weekend, including the parties for like one low price. Isn't that true? Yeah, yeah correct. It's $150 for an all-inclusive uh, all weekend pass. So that's the Friday night opening movie and the after party. All the films on Saturday, Saturday night, International Spotlight film, and the after party, and then all the programs Sunday day, and then the closing night film, and then that after party. So it's yeah. a good deal. Yeah, so right. you get to hang with the directors, the actors, the, the writers, screenwriters, and just powwow. If you want to be a filmmaker yourself, and kids, you know, youth, uh, young adults being inspired by our event, that's what we're hoping that people will follow in these footsteps of these mega stars out there, like people like Jamie Brewer and legendary icons like. Um, our keynote speaker, Jerry Jewell, who's a good friend Absolutely. of yours, David. So um, we were so excited for second annual because this is like just building and building with the COVID. You know, down time with the COVID has really made us anxious to get started up again. So we were actually uh, producing the second Down Syndrome Film Festival in December and um, January of 2020. Uh, at a different theater and they kind of said in early March well it seems like things are sort of happening so yeah. if you want to it's your, your own risk if you want to keep going keep going just know that any moment you know it could be pulled and stopped and then a couple of days later the, the whole world shut down and went obviously there's you know nothing nothing yeah. happening so right. uh, we we vowed and and uh, we were determined that we would not you know let time we too much vowed. time go by and we would do a second one, and we're actually, even believe it or not, planning the third annual Palm Springs International Down Syndrome Film. Now, here's a question. If somebody has a film and they want to submit to your next year's oh, good question. festival, how do they do that? So, in, uh, let's see, the first probably thing by know. February, March of 2023, we're going to, we're changing it up. So, it's been um, basically uh, programmed, the first annual in this one. So in 2023 for the third annual, we're gonna open it up to submissions worldwide and probably through Film Freeway, we haven't selected that yet. So there'll be a 60 or 90 day uh, window where you could uh, submit your film for consideration. We're gonna actually create screening committees and it, so it'll be a little more involved and hopefully uh, increase the global reach also. This is amazing. This is wonderful that it's, it's growing. Every year it seems to grow. Well, this is interesting, but you know, we just um, dropped the official film schedule. So from the first film festival three years ago, we had 17 films over the three days from four countries. This year we have uh, 32 films from eight countries. So we doubled the amount of countries and we've almost doubled the amount of films, but we are including a new category uh, PSAs because Paul discovered and doing our research, there are these um, amazing PSAs that a lot of them are, all over the world uh, are left unnoticed by like the masses. You know, you have select people who watch these PSAs, but I figured 
it's the perfect opportunity for this film festival. They're beautifully done. To They're... embrace these just beautifully crafted PSAs that are out there. That... And, and we're incorporating uh, uh, more of a music video category. Yeah. We have an animated short that's yeah. phenomenal, uh, Davies Lullaby, so. Which, uh, David, you, you've been part of great animated shorts, so this will give you inspiration to do the first ever David Zimmerman animated short for next for year. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> throwing it out there some people it. say my face is an animation <laughs> <laughs> i've seen some wonderful stuff you've been involved with the angel mm -hmm. that from the film fest you did oh that was a fun one that was Andreas great. directed that yeah heavenly yeah. peace heavenly okay. peace yes that was a great short animated short so just throwing it out there i tell you i love this well, I'm so excited because it is going to be, it's like a family affair and there's so many people. And we just found out today that we have what you have another guest coming, the yes. peanut butter Falcon himself. Yes. That's right. Zach is coming out here with his two moms, which we just spoke to um, his one mother oh, today yeah. with you helping out, you know, make that transition and coordinate that all to happen very so fantastic uh to be able to Thank meet you. them and spend time with them and have them enjoy and partake in this wonderful festival that we're you know so passionate about doing my nephew ryan unfortunately you know he's our number one inspiration my nephew ryan uh, multiple uh special olympics uh, multiple different kinds of medals lo lots of golds and bronzes and silvers Silver. and yeah. uh just won this year in florida for the volleyball competition in florida we won the gold, team right? we won the gold and so right. unfortunately you know he works and then his parents my sister and ex-brother-in-law have been separated for quite some time and you know dad takes more control and a little bit of a stickler and it's just you would think his dad would be like oh yeah ryan needs to go to this but um we're hoping, we're hoping. by next the third annual Hill Hill. Now, yeah. was it was it Ryan or was it something else that inspired you to create this amazing? Well, Ryan, for family, blood blood related, and then also, of course, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie is the the first person that really like connected us um, as far as entertainment goes. Being in the industry, kind of jump started, like got got wheels turning in our head, you know, going you know, this would be great to do a festival with actors, you know, not only with Down syndrome, other disabilities, but mostly targeted inspira inspiration from my nephew, because I would like for him to have a job in the enter entertainment industry, because he loves anything to do with media, sports. He He's just very passionate. He's, uh, you know, great with the camera. I've done stuff with him a long time ago when we were both a lot younger and he yeah. just has that he was on the side of a bus let's just put it this way uh, like, like you know the <laughs> carrie bradshaw sex in the city ryan was on the side of a bus for singular wireless ad with all the great athletes it was a, a ad and his face was shown all throughout texas that's where he was the official lived. face of the special olympics special for olympics year, so. for that year and he so, was standing on the street corner and the bus went by and he's like oh my gosh I'm on my mom bus. my mom my <laughs> sister his mom was driving to work one day and here comes this bus and she goes i looked over and there's my son so oh my you know so going back to step so and, and you know this david so we had a a physical um Retail brick and, brick and mortar filmmakers gallery in Long Beach, California. Yeah. Now, um, when did that start? Uh, 2012. So exactly 10 years ago. So we we had the idea, and I had the concept, and I pitched it to Paul, and we said we want to do a Down Syndrome Film Festival there, and you know our That's maximum right. capacity was 25 people. That's right. It and, was supposed uh, to be at that little venue. And Long Beach isn't the most. Uh, arts supportive community. Uh, we had trouble getting our neighbors. We lived in the same street as the gallery and we would go to gallery events all the time and we'd tell all the neighbors, well, come on down for free, check it out, see what we're all about. We couldn't even get them to come down for free and walk like 20 feet. So yeah. we oh, kind of figured, okay, that maybe there's not the right, this isn't the right time or the place. So we and moved then, here. You know, we moved here five years ago. And it was like, wow. <laughs> and yeah, it opened up all kinds of uh, so much community community involvement with well 
especially, you know, we're, you know, legally married and, you know, we're proud of just being open and partners business wise. We've been together 14 years and this city accepts and embraces diversity so much, especially LGBTQ. So, so there's that aspect. There's of, that aspect. And then the fact that the Palm Springs Cultural Center, the yeah. Camelot Theater, there were a lot of uh, really cool uh, bigger venues and they're easy to work with. And where Long Beach, we didn't really have that the timing wasn't right we didn't have that kind of access well and the and the theater you're doing at it's a, a huge theater yeah and that's kind of huge. a big change from the first one too, yes so. and, and we love just the name alone uh, i i put something recently on facebook i found a vintage interview with mary pickford herself uh -huh. and she was being interviewed and it was so fascinating i said i had to post this and I should have tagged Ted in the theater who runs that theater, you know, because her name, but when you walk in her portraits, you know, on the second story, when you walk in, it's just very breathtaking when you walk in the front door there, because it's just, just a great, beautiful venue. So but, oh, we should tell, uh, tell everybody about how we met Jamie. Oh, yeah. Yes, kind of how? So we were, uh, um, I'm a member of the TV Academy. Academy of TV Arts and Sciences, and we were, uh, Paul and I were standing in line at the 20th Century Fox lot to, so the Emmy events, pre-Emmy to get you to vote for their show, they invite you to these fabulous events, they're all over LA, this one was, um, it was a screening in one of the Coven. theaters, it was Co the uh, Coven season, which Jamie was in, season three, season three, and Paul had been, been you'd been communicating with Jamie yes. online and stuff, so she knew what we looked like. We knew what she looked like. So we were like the 250th people in line, um, just waiting in this huge long line. And all of a sudden uh, we hear this uh, little voice, Paul, Stephen, Paul, Stephen. And we turned around and Jamie's running up to us and gave us a big hug. We're in line, just kind of like everybody backed up. And we turned and they were blown and, away because you know, <laughs> one of the lead stars. And you she know? goes, what are you doing back here? And we're just like, this is where we landed. And she goes, oh, no, no, no. She grabs us both by the hand, pulls us out of line. And we're walking <laughs> the three of like the Wizard of Oz walking arm in arm. And she takes us up, not to the front line. She just takes us in. Or she, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that, that, that woman, was, that woman is amazing. She has one of the biggest hearts. And she is one of my favorite actresses, period. Yes, because she's, Absolutely. she's so positive minded and she, you never see her without a smile on her face. She's always got a smile on her face and she always embraces life as, you know, we all should like the best time ever, every day. And I think people so, are going to be blown away because one of the music videos is Michael Parks Randa's um, Delta Spirit is the group what uh what's done is done yeah it was and zach it's jamie, and jamie and zach so they're both gonna they're be both there. gonna be there that weekend. <laughs> but uh yeah. we're i was telling paul i said um uh their acting is phenomenal but i said for jamie it, uh, it's pretty much a non non-verbal but it's it's a it's an um, they're both amazing performances and really deep and it's uh it's a beautiful song and it's a, a great music oh it's show. it's gorgeous if 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 anybody hasn't seen it this is the perfect weekend oh, to yeah. be it on the big screen. Yes. Uh, and talking about being on the big screen, I am so excited that we're a part of your festival with Honey Bunny. Oh my because, God, yes. I mean, yes. of course I've seen Honey Bunny since I produced it, but to now see it for the first time on the big screen. Oh yeah, we're excited yeah, for we're you. Excited. Yeah. We, we just watched it twice again this morning and I was crying both times. Oh, <laughs> I love I was that. Like, oh my gosh. I love that you said that because yeah. when I made it, it was right in the middle of the pandemic. It was yeah. 2020. I, I, I just said, this is the time to make this. It just was something divine told me. I'm make glad it. you did. And we did it. And after it was done, I would watch Honey Bunny every morning when I woke up to, and now I'm getting a little verklempt, um, because it it started off my day with such a loving, positive attitude. So Well, ironically, cool. their relationship, ours is 14 and a half years, almost 15. And when she says, we've been together 15 years, I looked at him and I'm choking up because... It's like, I can't imagine losing him after all those years. No, I ain't going And <laughs> I feel for Blair. Yeah. And yeah. what 
Blair must be thinking every time he watches that short, how what it does to him. And also like, you know, it's a, a bittersweet, you know, it's like, oh my God, there she is, the love of my life. And then think, you know, this is the last I, I have to embrace her is your film, which is so magical, Yes, but it's also bittersweet. So, yeah. Well, yeah. you know, that's going to be a great question. I mean, you're having at, at this film festival, you're going to have Q and A's and Blair Williamson will be there. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, Gail Williamson's going to be there. So, that's a great question to ask Blair, I think. Is yes. What, how do you feel when you watch this film? I'm guessing he feels joy. I'm guessing he feels an overabundance yeah. of joy and he feels like she's here. Yeah. But yeah. we'll ask him, we'll find out. Yeah. Um, I, I wanted to, I, you know, we have so many people here and, yes. and I want to, I want to get a few questions in. I'm going to, um, and Steve is wearing the t-shirt. We have t-shirts available at the at the festival, or um, we're going to get more made. So if you can't make it physically to the festival, you can order them through us, and your donation goes towards this charitable cause, which you know we're 100% nonprofit, um, 501c3 now. So any donation goes directly towards any future festival funding. So our company, the Filmmakers Gallery, is a 501c3 yeah, nonprofit, nonprofit organization. So the biggest event that we do annually is the uh, Palm Springs International Down Syndrome Film Festival. We also are doing our third annual Margaret O'Brien Legend Award uh, in November. And then we do weekly events. We do standalone screening Let events. Let some people know who um, Margaret O'Brien is in case so, somebody's like, who's Margaret O'Brien? <laughs> David so, knows, right? We so know. in 2000, December of 2018, we gave the first Margaret O'Brien Legend Award to actress Margaret O'Brien who was uh, Judy Garland's younger sister in the 1943 movie, uh, Meet, classic, Meet Me in St. Louis. Louis. And she won a juvenile Oscar and there were only, I think, seven or eight, eight, I think, Correct. of the juvenile Oscars. Uh, Judy Garland won. And it was stolen, I think, I believe it was stolen, but then returned. Yeah, her, her Oscar back. was missing for like 30 something years. And then it appeared. And appeared. At, at a pawn shop or something. Or oh no, five and dime some shop? guys found it at a yard sale. Yard sale. Yard, yard sale. sale. Yes. And they, uh, and, they realized what it was, and they took it back to the yes. Academy and the Academy returned it to Margaret. Now is this, is this um, through the Filmmakers Gallery? Yeah, we yes. founded the award. We, we, we decided we wanted to give like a career achievement award, but call it a certain name who's somebody who's still living and who is a living legend. And we try to give it to living legends and um, kind of take a retrospect, look back on their career and also have them, like many of them are still working in the business today. Like many of these people who have been candidates in our eyes that were future uh, recipients, you know, we're thinking at Ruta Lee and down the road, um, other people that live here actually in Palm Springs is even better because the community even wants to embrace them more here. And it's, you're it, honoring somebody in that community this yeah. year, right? Well, he's in your, your, um, your neck of the woods. Neck of the so woods. this year's uh, third annual Margaret O'Brien Legend Award honoree is uh, Academy and Golden Globe Award winning actor, George Takiris, who played Bernardo in the original 1961 West Side Story. Yes. Right. He He's just young. turned a, a young and chipper at 90. He just turned uh, 90 years old. 90 years ago. young. And talk about another sweet, wonderful man. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And he just, every time we see him, which has been, you know, not like lots and lots of times, but I would say half a dozen times we've had the opportunity to hang out with them. We saw a drag show with them. Uh, these great guys, um, they're brothers, twins. They're called the Edwards Twins. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they they're do amazing. the most brilliant impersonations and sing. They use their, they real, their real voice. voices. Wow. And George came to that event with us with a handful of other people like Jason Stewart and my folks came and we went to this show not knowing what to expect and it took our breath away. George was like blown away and it was like the best Barbara Streisand impersonator you will ever see or hear in your life. Well, he sounds, two, he sounds just like Barbara Streisand. And they're two twin brothers. Yes. And one does all the female roles, the other one does all the male roles. So you got Billy Joel, you got Elton John, you got Lady Gaga, you got uh, Cher, 
Well, uh, you, I mean, all of these events you put together, you, you were constantly, I see like every week you have a new event. Which we do amazing. a weekly event, actually, yeah. And this is so exciting. I want to bring in three students, and then we have a special, special surprise guest yeah. that a lot of people don't know about. So we're going to have to bring in three students and then bring in a one of the actual filmmakers who are going to be a part of the wonderful Down syndrome. So let's start off with Bahara Sadis. I know that Bahara wanted to ask a question. Um, we'll get her up. There's Bahara. Hi. Hi. Um, I have a question for you. Sure. Were you, were you involved with Priya on the cover 2018 for festival? Well, 2018 festival. The 2018? Yeah. Were you involved with? Oh, with the, the first one. Cover? Yeah, it was 2019. 19, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Margaret, I'm sorry, Margaret O'Brien was 2018. Yeah, 2019 was the first one, and it was at the Palm Springs Cultural Center, an historic theater here in Palm Springs. They have three theaters where we moved to now has 14 theaters. 14 theaters. So it's a bigger complex, bigger theaters, and actually the seats, they recline, they have like remote control. <laughs> Um, I don't know if they vibrate or not for those action movies, but it's state of the art there. It's really a, a great theater. Oh. Yes. Well, oh. Hey, Priya. Well, what? I Simple. played Priya myself. I played Priya. Priya. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, I have to say, Bahara, wonderful question. And Bahara Sabis is, let me tell you, she is a huge TikTok star, right? Oh, oh. Nice. Okay. she's all over TikTok. So be sure well, to check Bahara out. First of all, I want to say for everybody watching, we do have what you see here. This is the logo. If you pull it up online, if anybody does Facebook, I don't know if some kids, you know, the younger generation, I've heard Facebook is for old people. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's old guys. But I do have a, a page designated on Facebook that I encourage anybody to post on there, especially TikTok links. I love to put the TikTok links on there mm -hmm. of people that have messages or That's videos. So please go to the page. It's called Palm Springs International Down Syndrome Film Festival. And it's a page on Facebook. You just type it in and like the page and you can post all you want. Now, one important uh -huh. thing that we didn't mention to everybody earlier is so another whole reason we do this and we started this simultaneously three years ago so there's an organization here in the coachella valley which is basically yes. comprised of nine cities including palm springs cathedral city so there's an organization called ezekiel's gift of love coachella valley down syndrome foundation named after ezekiel named after wow. ezekiel who was our friend yadira's son so we partnered with her so 20 percent of all ticket sales we donate back to her nonprofit, to her foundation, and that in turn goes towards her being able to do uh, picnics, educational workshops, community events. And bringing uh, large groups of her following to our so, festivals. So it's like, wow. we help you. So we, we, we help kind us, of created so. this uh, symbiotic energy. Yeah. Uh, her foundation promotes our festival and our festival promotes her foundation. She's going to have a table uh, near our volunteer she's table. She's buying a bunch of t-shirts off of us. She's bringing in, uh, wow. she's buying, I think, uh, 25 tickets. You know, talking about t-shirts, I know a lot of people online have been saying, I want to buy a t-shirt. I want to buy a t-shirt. <laughs> and it's interesting what you're saying. I, 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 of course, we're going to, I'm, I'm going to do one more person and then we're going to bring on our special, special guest who is from, who's in from Mongolia. I mean, yeah. live from Mongolia. And yeah. I think it's like five in the morning there, 4.30. But mm -hmm. what I want to bring on, who I want to bring on now, and we'll still bring on a few others throughout the day. Um, this is a guest who's actually going to be at your festival. And he, um, uh, he is a wonderful actor. He's part of Performing Arts Studio West. He was uh, in the, the, sh the wonderful show, uh, Emmy nominated and winning show, Born This Way. Um, also, okay. love you more. Uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. John Tucker. Oh, <laughs> hey, there he is. In his, in his sweat, in his shirt, t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Nice, hey, Johnny. Hey, John. Hey, John. What's going on? Do you have any yeah. questions for the the weekend? Since you're going to be there. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Um <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna be there. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, what's up, y'all?" So have, have you seen yourself on the big screen? Of course, for a premiere for Born This Way, did they have premieres where it's like big um, screens? Actually, yeah, Theater. we did. Um, actually, yeah, we did. We did. Uh, we had a, a cast party, and everybody was there, and we saw a couple of of the season uh, from one to four. But um, and then it was also on on on, on and the show is also on YouTube, so I can just play. I'm on the So and and, and you got what? Well, no, the 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 show that you're going to be on is that they're showing is Darman, right? Yeah, the Darman Studios. Yeah, um, because you know it's a band too, because it's, it's like I've been on shows every day. Um, but not every day, but I've been on so too. And Born This Way was the first so that I've been on since season one through four. And um, I've been acting ever since then, you know, because, you know, acting and music, rapping and stuff, you know, dancing. Yes, maybe, first. maybe. And that's the exciting thing too. Maybe you'll, uh, we'll have John rap at the, uh, during the uh, I love the that. That, would, I mean, yeah, that man he you know what <laughs> i have to say and and then we'll we'll talk more john because we're going to be there at the festival i mean it'll be you it'll be jamie brewer and hopefully everybody here can come and join and and, and come see the show but I'll see everybody all of us you know one you know time john 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 was on the show and he created at the top of his it just in a moment the meet the biz rap I got it. It's brilliant. We use it for a theme song. Great. It was amazing. So anyway, John, John, I'm gonna, I'm, we will see you at the film festival. And thank you for being here today. Um, oh, it's great. Um, so, I can't wait to see you on the big screen. Yay! Oh, I love it. This is gonna be good. No, I'm gonna get back. I'm, we still have. I want to say hi to Luke Zimmerman. I want to say hi to Shannon Derex and maybe one other. But before we do that. We have somebody, and I would love you to introduce him. Um, and I've got to find him here. He's here, here, here. I know he's here. Um, you got a huge following, David. Look at all these people that are tuned in. This is great. I know it's amazing, right? Yeah, hi, everybody. I wanted to reach out and say hi to all of you guys watching. Thanks oh, Josh for Eber is here from Love You More. Oh my God, let let's just see add spotlight. There's Josh Eber from Love Hi, Josh. You More. And then who else was, and then of course, um, and Luke Zimmerman from Love You More, there he is. Right. And then, then of course, John Tucker was from Love You More too. Uh, so yeah. we're gonna we're gonna get back. I want to see, I know we had him on here and I don't know if I see him there or not. Oh, there he is. Okay, there he is. I want you to introduce this, this amazing man because he has a film in your festival. Absolutely. Of course he does. We, we're so thrilled and excited to be showing this film because when, when whoever gets to the festival, which we know you're going there, David, and whoever else is coming and John, uh, when you see this film, you're, you're going to say, wow, this is like Oscar qualified. This is the way wow. the, the film is crafted. It's just Blows. In fact, we blows uh, anybody away. Uh, giving think. it a special uh, award for cinematography because the cinematography is just absolutely yeah. beautiful, beyond beyond beautiful, breathtaking. So. And you know what? Before I'm, um, he's right here. He's ready to come on. But before we uh, uh, get him in, I have the movie trailer set up. I saw this oh. movie trailer yesterday. Oh. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see this film. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. I mean, it's yeah. amazing. So let me share my screen here. Da, 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 da. We're going to see that and then bring him on. Here we go. Hey! 
Ne ne? Hunt halde tıkan bir şey What got you involved in in this? Well, long story. So um, I'm a Mongolian, was born in Mongolia. So I have four kids and one wife. <laughs> then uh, my son, who is now 20 years old, he has a Down syndrome. Okay. Yeah, can you hear me clearly? It's, it's breaking up a little bit. Breaking up, breaking up a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Tiny bit, yeah. That, oh, that's, that's better. Better. Now it's better. Uh, it got when out you of got, When you got closer to the mic, it sounded bassier. It sounded more audio audible. Uh -huh. I it was better. It's a little, little shaky there. Okay, just. Wait. Oh, whatever you did there, the, you push something in. I was down. Better. 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 Yeah. I love it. Ah. Uh, he's on the point. It's, it's a bloody, yeah? It's oh. Bloody. It's going in and out, but it's there. Let's see. Let's try it again. It could be because he's so far yeah. away. Well, I I think it might be the cord connection on that. It, this happens. Everybody, this happens. This is Zoom, the internet. That's entertainment. <laughs> but, but we're calling from Mongolia. That's right. Man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, hey. sorry. Oh, oh, it's better. Better. Okay, okay, good. Sorry. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's Yay. Good. So, yeah. so this, so you, I, I mean, you have so much that you've been doing throughout the years. Uh, I mean, what, what made you decide to become a filmmaker? Yes, that was a quite an accident one. So I have a not this industry guy. I'm a finance guy. Actually, my major is accountant. Right. But I do work now in communications company, the branding agency. So this is the, my own company. Yeah. And um, because of, I do have uh, such a son with the Down syndrome. He turns this year 20 years old. Then um, the, before the COVID in uh, 2019, uh, the couple of artists came to me to work on this project. 
because uh, one guy wrote a screenwriter and very nice one. Then um, they decided to have to touch this uh, issue, Down syndrome and also this racial equity thing. Then they asked me to, to work as an advisor on this project. While I am working on this uh, script, then I found out that we need to elaborate this script more. And also we should not dedicate this movie only for Mongolians. So we should, you know, show this movie dedicate for the global audiences because this um, disability issue, uh, human right, inclusive society is our uh, common challenge. It's not only my, uh, not only the Mongols problem. So we decided to broaden up the topic and we invited all the best crews all around the, from Mongolia, the cinematography, and also the artists and advisors. Then uh, I ended up working as an executive producer. So that's how we uh, met first with this movie team. And um, then one important thing is uh, before uniting with this team, we decided that this movie is not for the commercial. We agreed it to each other. The make money is our priority number 30 or number 100. So first priority is, you know, to make the very nice movie and to show this movie around the world through this film. See, we would like to uh, defend the human rights and promote the inclusive society all around the globe. Uh, and it's, it's so amazing how What's affecting me now is that you made this to become a good movie that can change lives and be about human rights. It wasn't just about, oh, it's got to be here. It's got to be, you know, I mean, it's, it looks so amazing and gorgeous that it could go up to the Oscars. But I think when, when it comes from the heart, when you make it from the heart and you have a message, it, that's what counts the most. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, now, what, I mean, uh, was it, it, it was it, uh, of course, this is like asking somebody their age. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, do what, what you think is good. But the budget of a film like this, I mean, it, I, even this time, I've seen this trailer twice. And this time I even got more emotional because I, can, I connect to everything in it. I connect, I see the mother and I start tearing up because I can relate to it. I could see so many things within it and how he's running and crying in in such beauty so you have this pain but he's in this beautiful the trees behind him the snow um what what, what is like how was this a huge budget movie well um, we worked on this production for two years during this uh, covid uh, strict lockdown actually then uh, we traveled all around the most beautiful places in Mongolia, regardless of winter, summer, and spring, and autumn, you know, four seasons we do have. Um, can you believe, guys, in this, uh, we have the most extreme uh, the, the weather in Mongolia in uh, winter. Uh, the winter night, which means around the mid of January, we could have the minus like 15 Celsius. Very cold. <laughs> and in the summer, in summer, in the southern Mongolia, the Gobi Desert, uh, it is usual to have daytime temperatures uh, plus uh, over the 40 in Celsius. So you know, the, 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 the difference is, you know, can be the 100 degrees in Celsius. So this is in you know, Mongolia, winter and summer, so extreme. And um, then um, two years work, I think the total uh, budget uh, roughly, I think the less than uh, uh, 300,000 USD. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, for what it looks like, that's a, 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 an amazing amount. I mean, it's not, it's not too crazy. You can make a film that is a stunning piece of art and lasts because of what it is. Yeah. And I would say that uh, besides this amount, uh, certain percentage of the, the money uh, came as a, as a, as a, as a Kind, kind of, you know, the, the donation, you know, when we work in the countryside more than, you know, a couple of weeks, the rural people came 
came to us, you know, bring the food for the, our crew and oh, also the yeah. transportation side. There is, you know, the four wheel drive, the, the fan club, like, you know, the Toyota and Pajero, those guys, you know, bring the dozens of the cars with the drivers. They work for us as a volunteer, you know, they really want to be the part of this movie to contribute, not asking money. Yeah. So that's why, you know, we created such a awful content. Now you, I mean, before movies, uh, you also, you became, how did you become interested in the Down Syndrome community? Because I know you are the chairman of the Down Syndrome Association of Mongolia. Yes. Um, I do have the four kids and my the oldest one is a son and he turns this year 20 years old. Uh, he has a Down Syndrome. So I am a father. Uh, gorgeous. Then uh, 20 years ago when I had such a son, and of course, first I shocked and then tried to, you know, I think that what to do, I, what I can do, you know, back to this community. Then unfortunately, that, um, uh, this education system, the health system and soft infrastructure in Mongolia was not really well developed. So then I realized that I had to do something. Otherwise I can't just wait government service and other private you know, enterprises. Then I decided to find out a couple of the parents like me, then decided to form the nonprofit organization in Mongolia. That is a Down syndrome association in Mongolia. So I'm the founder and serving so far as a chairperson of this association. So we do have the three basic kind of the strategy and focus pillars. Of course, you know, our, the mission of this association is uh, to make every single person in Mongolia with Down syndrome uh, to be a, a loyal taxpayer to the government, which means that guy, our guys uh, shall have a work employment. And yeah. to do work, he or she should have, you know, the, the decent and the experience of his skills and some education level. Yeah. Of course, first one is they have to be healthy to work and then health, education, employment, employment, three of these pillars are the, our association's key, uh, the focus to work on. That's how I'm still, you know, 20 years volunteering for this association and try to help this community to make a tangible contribution back to this society. Uh, actually, the, I do work quite hard, but re recently I realized that uh, Film, this kind of, the movie industry is one of the most powerful tool to convince people, to influence people, you know? So as a non for fit our resources are very, very limited. It's still, and the fall, you know, guys, NGOs. <laughs> so then um, almost every week, every month, I try to visit in the different provinces and districts, you know, to deliver the lecture, doing volunteer work. It's still, you know, it's enormous work. Then um, the movies, you know, once we made movie, like it's more than just over the 90 minutes, the feature film, then this film could influence more than, you know, millions of people, you know, just like a one click. Then I decided to work on this project and try to do kind of the perfect work as much as I can. That's how I connected with this project. Beautiful. And we're so lucky he reached out to us. And you must have just been doing a search, what, on Facebook? or Exactly, you, just, just Facebook you came search. Come across us. I always wonder this, like how people connect together with stuff like what we're doing. Wow. So Yes, you, you say that old people use the Facebook, which means I'm kind of old, yeah? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you're old, what does that make me? <laughs> do, do you, well, do you know, know that do you know the dinosaur david <laughs> the what well <laughs> just a little you Listen. know what, I, what i'm curious about if i can just say one thing while we're all together and having this conversation about the film and the fact you brought up your connection as your son and you're a dad what does your son think of the movie oh it's a great question what does he think well uh, uh, the, I, I told you that my son is now 20 years old yes. and he likes to watch the cartoons 
and uh, his IQ level is uh, his level of the Down syndrome is uh, a little bit severe, and okay. he can't okay. really fully understand that movie, but can feel it. And I'm sure that you know, especially he was bonded so much with his grandmother. On that movie, that mother and son is exactly life of my son and my my mother, grandmother. Oh. So so touching, and um, uh, he can't express himself, can't really speak, but he can uh, let him and make understanding like uh, using the you know this uh, yeah. sign languages and etc. And uh, I saw that uh, he kind of touching when he when he saw. The scene from the movie because a lot of your movie is visuals and you don't yes. necessarily need to read the subtitles you you get it i mean it helps yeah. having it but your yes. movie is so good wow. that it speaks in imagery more than it does you having to read the dialogue of course you're trying to you know have your subtitles there so i just want to say that's a super duper gift you have to express your art on cinema that way. Mm. That's so that, that was exactly, that was a strategy, you know? Yeah. So once we decided uh, to dedicate this movie to these international film festivals and to the you know, globe, mm. then we decided that, you know, there are the, so hundreds of the languages, you know, people use in the world. Right. Then we decided yeah. but one common language is actually Lao. So that's why, you know, we prefer the less text, then, you know, all those, you know, meanings should be expressed by, you know, by the movie itself. Yeah. And anyone from the, anyone the, doesn't matter which country, no problem to understand the meaning and philosophy of the movie. Yeah. That was a strategy to make this movie. Well, just yes. bravo, everybody involved in that film. I mean, from you to the cinematographer, to the actors, just, and even the craft services people for getting the <laughs> bed. I mean, you got to have the team work together and it just, exactly. it shows so much in that movie. Now, when, when is this playing at your festival, Steve? It's our uh, Saturday, Saturday night international spotlight film. Yes. So it's Saturday, uh, October 8th. Right in the heart. Right in the right heart. Right. So it's a metaphor. Yeah. And, and actually, again, yeah. we've already uh, awarded Trio uh, a special best cinematography award in advance. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're holding up to that award until we can get it to you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I love it. The awards are beautiful. We love how the awards are are looking. We 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 physically have seen you know composites of them, but you know they're going to be great. Just uh -huh. actually feel them, hold them, and yeah. So. Well, I want to I, I want to bring on just three uh, students and and yeah, bring them on. not just students yeah. but actors, sure. performers, just might who have a question. I know that I mentioned Luke Zimmerman. He's an actor, of course. He was on a TV show for five years, oh. and um, and here he is right now, Mr. Love You More. Oh, there he is. I love you more too, David. Oh, <laughs> cool. Good. I know. I want to do shout out to you too in Palm Springs. The show uh -oh. you have fun, say, oh. down oh. to him. I'm so blessed for you did that. Keep that good work. Thank you. Uh, uh, and yeah. all you guys yeah. keep up the good. Yeah. Yeah. Now, would you would you ever fly to Mongolia to do a film maybe with uh, Genzor? Mongolia? Are you crazy, David? Yes, you're an actor. You go anywhere. I'm an actor in California. I know, but you'd go anywhere, and I might go with you. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe well, at, least, uh, at least you are always welcome to Mongolia. Oh, thank uh, you. I, I might to next year for me is my trip. I'm taking trips. Please, please, that's a serious. Yeah. So yeah, let me know. Just let me know. Field trip. I'll tell you. While working with David Zimmerman, his honor to work with me while I did all these shows i done. In Toronto, love you more. He is great, happy, works so hard. Every time he's there, he's like a grandfather to me. Aww. But we have both same last names. 
Well, I let me tell you, I thank you. I enjoy working with you, Mr. Zimmerman, because you're so talented, Luke. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. Oh, my gosh. You know, I, 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 he said something, and it went in my head, and it's hiding behind one of my <laughs> brain cells. But it might come back to me. I was talking about Mongolia and the... Uh, Taking a uh, trip. Oh, oh, that's it. What is your next project? Do you have another film coming up? Well, actually, uh, that's an interesting question because I am not the film expert, but this movie, you know, uh, seems going quite well. And uh, on my table now, like uh, four new movies script, people like, keep sending me, oh, Gandhi, it seems you, you could be a good producer. So I do have such a script, such a story. Let's make, let's make a movie. I said, I don't tell him this. Have a look, have a look. You know, so I do have actually two projects in my mind, very, very interesting topic, especially this during, you know, uncertain time because of this COVID, because of this Russia-Ukraine war. So we do have, you know, the kind of this very human topic and uh, let's see, let's see then. But uh, I really would like to have kind of a co-production, not only on the Mongolians. This time I really would like to have co-productions with you guys and with other countries, experts. Well, that could be a new, <laughs> new <laughs> journey. I will, I will share the idea and project with you, certainly. Just wait for me. Oh, I love this. Well, I that would be a joy to work with you. Listen, I want to uh, get, you know, just say hello. Um, I know uh, Logan Shen is just an amazing um, creator, performer, and I know he just wants to probably say hello. Is that okay? Logan Shen, how are you, Logan? Good. Hey, Logan. Hi, Logan. Hey, Logan. So uh, Logan is, uh, I think, at Performing Arts Studio West. Was it a year now that you've been here or two years? I'm losing track of time. Something like that, a couple of years. And you're, I bet you're excited to get back to the studio when we open up as well. <laughs> yes, Logan? Good night. Yes. Well, I hope I hope you could come see the film too, Logan. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in a film too very soon. Thank you, thank you for being here, Logan. Yes, thank you for watching the show and being part of today's show. Yeah, I love it. It's good to meet um, you. Um, let's see. I, I know we're we're getting close on time, but I do know we have um, Ranjani. Ronjani, did you want to say hello? Hey. Hey. Hello. Ronjani, nice to meet you. You too. Yes. Where, what city do you live in? I live in Cook Park. Okay. Is that in Los Angeles? No, I'm, I'm in Fernando? the valley. In the valley. Yeah, the valley. Would you be considered a valley girl? <laughs> Probably not. You're too young to know what that is. I don't valley know. Girl. Makes me an old man again. In other words, I'm not calling you a man. Only David does. Okay. When my beard turns white, I'll be Santa. How's that? I love your beard. You, you oh, might mean you. like the the leprechaun. Well, beard. I've been I've been told. I look like Cornelius from Rudolph the Red-Nosed uh, Reindeer. Oh! And Captain Hook, too. <laughs> when you were talking about gray hair, I have to say, I got to say it's my gray hair. You feel like a grandpa then. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm a grandpa now. <laughs> you know, we, we worked with David on a TV series way back when. Uh, child of the 70s that David was in. Yeah, and that's when we first started actually getting to know yeah, David yeah, and yeah. that's how the history of, of of our whole first encounters with David came to be and then we kept in touch and then we did our little film festival at our filmmakers gallery in Long Beach which was so much fun yeah it we featured all these little shorts and David was featured in that one what was it heavenly heavenly the, peace heavenly and, peace and heavenly peace. Yes. yes both of them and yes the other one and with so much fun. And then now fast forward to current times is I'm just so happy and we're so thrilled to have David be part of just 
this important thing that we're trying to make a statement like with the community here and say, you know, this needs to be a part of every community, not only just Palm Springs, it needs to be, you know, all across the United States, globally, internationally, and the universe. And definitely <laughs> India. <laughs> yes, India too. That's right. India is so. my favorite country because I love their the oh. motto from there is called Lava Silva. Really? Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. That's I had a good question for you guys. Okay. It's gonna be so much so much fun. <laughs> Are you excited about the festival? How you how you feel about David and your festival? How you feel? Uh, I just inspired. I feel well, excited. We're, excited. We're very blessed that that uh, you're feeling David's nervous really about it. And uh, David's actually one of our guest programmers with uh, Gail Williamson. So actually, uh, yeah, I know Gail. He's my agent. <laughs> Gail's wonderful. Gail's and she's fantastic. the best, right? Yes. And she's just a great listener, and and she has helped us just every step of the long and well, the actually, way. The first one, we we never would have been able to get any of this off the ground, even the first one, if it wasn't for, for uh, Gail. Gail's help and influence, yeah. and like. Um, how, how do we do this? And well, where, where do we find one thing and... exciting uh, about Gail is the first one she couldn't attend. So mm -hmm. this is the, for the first one that she'll be attending is the second annual three years later. So well, what's so thrilled. good too, and what's so nice is she has her son in and Blair, both in of, two of the films. Oh, Blair, yeah. Blair is but Blair's gonna be in Turnover. Uh, Honey Bunny and oh, Turnover. Yeah. Turnover. And Whitney's wedding. And Whitney's wedding. Oh, three. Three. He's in three. three. Oh my God. <laughs> There's <laughs> Shannon. Shannon just was waving her. Hey, Shannon. You're this is my best Shannon friend. All wedding. this are B tap. I love her. <laughs> so yeah. Shannon's featured in two or three. Uh, Turntable. No, three. Check. We're made. showing the share video. Four then. You're showing the <laughs> share video? Yep. <laughs> the share video. <laughs> yeah, Shannon. You were you starred in a video in Cher's video, didn't you? Yeah, Woman's World. Woman's World. Woman's World. It's Cher. Oh. <laughs> woman's World. It's woman's World. <laughs> I, I hope Cher can come to meet the, the best. Yeah. You have to visit from Mongolia and come <laughs> visit us at the Performing Arts Studio West. Yay. One of these days. Yes. I love that. Bring Sarah to meet your best, David. Okay. Well, and that was in Winnie's wedding, too. Oh, and Shannon goodness. will be missed, but we, we wish her all and her, her mother, yeah, Teresa, congratulations. the best of, Thank you. Best of right. luck with your, your play. Amy and the, Orphan and the Orphans. So uh, we totally understand. We wish you all the best, but we will miss you. And Thank we you. Wish we wish you were there, but we know you guys are both there in and, spirit. And your opening <laughs> night is our opening night, yep. which is really yeah, no. <laughs> That's that crazy. <laughs> How you yeah. feel about that? That's <laughs> awesome. That's very awesome. Oh, my gosh. Well, and Shannon, I, one question. So you're going to be doing it for how many days is your show? Um, 10. We'll be doing 10 shows. I love it. Well, you know, of course, I'm going to be at the film festival the first week. But after that, I'm going to come see your show. Uh, did yeah. that be and get tickets online. <laughs> you know what, 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 Shannon? And get tickets online. Get tickets online at the La Habra Playhouse. Hey. Yes. Yay. I love it. And did that <laughs> be a crossing burnt in the sand sleep? I uh, don't know, it would be crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Ron Johnny. And, and, <laughs> Johnny. and, and thank you, Shannon. Thank you. Thank you. And um, this is a question to all three of you. Um, oh gosh, I have like four questions and I have to choose one and it's very hard. Um, you know what, what is your biggest joy in life? Start with this man. Oh, me first? Yeah. Biggest joy in life? Um, well, number one is having Paul as a partner, um, a husband and a producing partner. Even, though even we, when I get mad. We, we. <laughs> We were tuffling this morning. We had a little bit of a uh, little bit of yeah, but um, we always work it out. And uh, yeah, it, it's 
it's a little difficult when your spouse is your business partner because you're kind of juggling, you know, you have your, we have our personal time, we have our business time and it yeah. all kind of rolls together. Um, we kind of work at different paces. He's, he's got his own way of doing things. I have mine, but we, we work well together. We hear it all the time. You guys are a nice balance, you know? So, um, and in yeah. my past relationships, I always seem to wander into some sort of a, a business thing. And then after that relationship was over, like never again, I'm never going to involve <laughs> anybody I'm with in a business thing. And then the next person. So <laughs> then Paul came along and said, Oh, we don't do that. Okay. So then, uh, but it's been the most successful, well, both personally and professionally. So uh, and happy me, about that and happy about um, being able to uh, create the film festival and expand our filmmaker gallery programming um, and really to, to bring about, you know, uh, combined education and entertainment and hopefully inclusivity and changing people's lives and inspiring people. And um, yeah, that, that's uh, really the ultimate. And say me. the question again. So, cause what, what is your biggest joy in life? Joy, joy, joy. So for me, because we're going to leave the finale for you, Danzari. Um, for me, the biggest joy would be the fact it was said earlier on in this interview as um, doing it not for the money, not for status, to pat ourselves on the back or go, look how important, look at me, 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 like we see many people in the entertainment business that want to be recognized for them it's about making a statement and making a difference in our world and making it a better place for people that need to be in the, the, the areas where they've always strived and achieved to be in, have great role models that they see in the big screen. So doing this festival to me, it's like, we're like the Stanley Kramers of, you know, this part of the community because, you know, Stanley Kramer, he would have been our father-in-law because our mother, Karen Sharp Kramer, Adopt, adopted, adopted, adopted mother, mother, who's been on your show many of times, David. Um, she was on the first I Dream a Genie. She was married to Stanley and, um, you know, she's now the widow of Stanley, but Big all, inspiration too, all so. his films, all his films were socially conscious to make a difference in the world. And I feel like we met them for a reason because we've been inspired. We talk about inspiring films and being inspired period. Um, the Kramers are a huge inspiration, not only Kat, but, or Karen, but Kat as well with her uh, films that change the world. That's what she does. And, and Jennifer uh, with her films that she- Jennifer yes. too. Stunning. Everything so about her. that, they, we met them for a reason. Like I said, they were in our wedding. They're now family members and we're like connected till death do us part, you know? Um, and that's what drives us is, is just trying to make a difference in the community and in the world internationally. So we'll end it on that note there. <laughs> and some of our, uh, our best uh, producing tips, at least for me personally, maybe you too, but yeah. have come from, uh, from Karen, actually. From Karen. Yeah, she's a wonderful person. When she speaks, it's like it just, you know, stays in my yeah. brain. And she, she's a big inspiration. Yes. Really. And Ganserig, we'll end on your joy. What, what's, your, what's your best joy in life? Biggest joy in life. Yeah. It, uh, my joy in life, uh, when, I, uh, when I part of this uh, very diverse group, diversity and I feel uh, how unique uh, each person mm -hmm. how different each society from each other being part of this diverse group and diversity is very very you know, beautiful thing so when I feel the biggest joy when I feel myself part of this diverse group that's how I where I feel that my biggest joy uh, nice. diversity coming together yeah Yes, yes. And also, plus, uh, accepting each other's differences, to me, the biggest joy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen, to that. Amen. And David, well, I just want to speak for both of us. As, uh, you know, I've never really been a part of this Zoom thing with your Meet the Biz and seeing how many people adore you and love you and follow you. And it just blows me away. Like, not only just seeing guests from the past you featured because I already know about that part but 
actively being a part of it and partaking in this Zoom meeting call, um, it just melts my heart. And just to see how you're making a difference in each and every home that that camera is pointing to, you're touching every single human life that is watching right now. That to me, yes, that makes me like choke up because that's you're, well, you're doing an amazing thing. And we so. have to say a big hats off to uh, technology in 2022, 2021, yeah. because yeah. without Zoom, I mean, if you think about it, this is amazing that uh, you know we're literally spanning the globe <laughs> in our conversation right now. Yeah. It kind of blows my mind. Uh, <laughs> I how know. Far, all how far we've world. come. How far we've come, George Jetsons. Remember that when yeah. we were kids? Know, San Francisco Bay Area, Palm Springs, Mongolia. Um, and I have to, I mean, I am blessed to be here because of so many people, uh, Mary Rings, the Born to Act Players, and I could go through a list of people, but it is here at Performing Arts Studio West, the Meet the Biz program has now become a part of. And if it wasn't for John Paces, uh, who who allowed me to come into the family eight years ago and uh, start teaching and then bringing in Meet the Biz, uh, the, the family expands. And I'm all about connecting people, connecting all people. Um, and, and, um, and this is what we all do here through our art, through our film, through our festivals, through our one-on-one -on -one connections, through our extended family. So thank you all for being an extended uh, family. Well, thank no, you, David. Thank you, Let's David. everybody thank so much, David. David. Thank yeah. you. And thank you for getting up so early from Mongolia. Yes, Kendrick, yes. No worries, it's my pleasure. My pleasure and uh, really nice to meet you, but it's pity that this year I can't be there with you in person, but I will see you very soon in person, guys. Yeah, and, absolutely. And also, yeah. you are always welcome to visit Mongolia anytime. Just let me know. I, we will cheers, let you know. Cheers, cheers. We will Where's your talk. coffee cup? How are you so like alert and awake? You should be drinking your coffee. What time is it there? <laughs> now it's I, like uh, 20 past four in the morning. Four in the morning. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That was more. Oh, my goodness. You're well, a real trooper. Listen, everyone, we're going to we're going to release the spotlights and we're all going to say hello. We'll take a gallery shot with everybody. And then everybody can say hello and chat. Thank you all, uh, Ganserig and of course, um, uh, uh, Paul and Stephen. And we all look forward to coming to your film festival. And yes. this is Thank wonderful. You. Thank you so much. Thank you, David. One count of three. Bye. One, two, three. Mwah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Did Thank you take you. a snapshot of that, screenshot of that? Yes, wow. I'll take a screenshot of that. <laughs>